after the Vietnam War. Steve Reynolds would move from the cockpit of one jet engine into the cockpit of an unlimited hydroplane. 12 years of winning would all change in a matter of seconds on July 5th. In a brand new Miss Cellular One, Steve Reynolds at 180 miles per hour would be involved in a devastating accident. It would leave him in a coma for three weeks. Many feared that he would not live. He remembers little of that Sunday in July, except that it was a crash that would leave his life in shambles. A lot of horrors, believe me. Um, how you can take a guy and uh, everything is right with his life, everything is right with his world, turn it upside down in a matter of seconds, and uh, change the whole outcome of the rest of his life. I mean, I have not been myself, and I won't be myself ever again in my life. Steve Reynolds looks in disbelief at a crash that should have taken his life. I look at those films, I say, who is that guy in there anyway? Um, I've seen him a number of times, and I can't believe that I'm still here when I look at the accident. Any guy that goes upside down and barrel rolls at, at 185 miles an hour uh, doesn't have any right to be here. Steve Reynolds is here, putting his life back together. Steve is reassembling his life at the Good Samaritan Hospital Center for Cognitive Rehabilitation, just outside Seattle. It is here that he has learned a new appreciation for life. Steve, what was your biggest accomplishment since the time of your accident? I think the, the biggest accomplishment for me has been my recognition and appreciation of life and uh, the aspects concerning life. I mean, they become so much more aware to me now than they were before. It's a very important center. It's important for me. The rehabilitation process has been very emotional, but in the sportscaster style of Steve Reynolds, he reports on his progress. Folks, he's on the road to recovery, and I know he's gonna be 100%. It just makes you glow inside to see the tremendous progress that he's made. And uh, it's just something that swells your chest out and makes you so happy. And like anything else, it brings you closer to another fellow human being. And I feel that we're much, much closer than we even were before. One of the most difficult aspects of his rehabilitation is to watch another driver in the cockpit of his boat, wondering if he will ever be behind the wheel of his boat again. There's feelings that tell me, Steve, drive the boat again. There's other feelings that say, Steve, don't drive the boat again. You know, you don't want this to happen to you again. But at the same token, I do like to drive. It's been a part of my life for 10 years. You can't just turn it off. It's the Christmas season, and Steve Reynolds, like any other father, goes shopping with his children. He's alive to see his daughter visit Santa Claus. Life holds many uncertainties, but Steve Reynolds is determined to make the most of every day. The attitude that I have toward it is survive, Steve. Make yourself the best you can possibly be. You're a different guy today than you were last six months ago. You're a completely different guy. So now make yourself as good as you can possibly be, and it all depends on me. Steve Reynolds, who has been given the greatest Christmas gift of all, the gift of life.